What's up guys, it's Coach Reeves with PR Strength. About to do an upper body lift today, but before we start, just got a new pre-workout from Animal. It's not new, it's new to me, but Animal Fury, I've never tried this product from them before. Just gonna open it up, show you guys the scoop size. While I'm doing this, so I was at Vitamin Shop and bought this today. And a little tip for you guys, if you don't know, they price match everything. So, went in there, they had it listed for like $36.99 and on Amazon it was $30. Bucks. They price matched it. So always make sure y'all keep that in mind when you're shopping in stores. Try to get the best deals. Here's the scoop size. Not, not too bad. There's a lot of things in this pre-workout. So there's BCAAs. There's obviously beta alanine and caffeine amongst a few other ingredients. So with BCAs and all that stuff, you want a bigger scoop. If the scoop was that big, then it's telling you there's not a lot of active ingredient in there. But here's a little shot of the supplement packs. All right guys, so as I'm warming up for my bench press day, some things are starting to feel a little bit tight and I'm starting to notice through my warm up. So, posterior shoulder, back side of my shoulder is a little bit tight on my right side. So instead of just working through it and going into the bar and pressing and feeling the pain, take a tennis ball, lacrosse ball, something like that, set it against the wall and you can kind of address these issues that are tight, right? So you roll around, Find the spot where you feel a little discomfort, roll through it, try to get some blood flow into that area. And one of the reasons for this is it doesn't make sense for me to go, if the bar doesn't feel good, for me to add weight to it. So if the bar doesn't feel great, address the issues that are bothering you, and then go back to the bar. It feels better, then start to add weight, right? So you can live to see another day. There's no point in training through injuries or discomfort and then further injuring yourself where you can't train the next day or the next day, right? So you got to be smart about your training and your warm-up your warm process. So today's bench plan, I've been following a 5-3-1 method for my Thursday bench day. So today's, I'm back to the top of uh, the week one wave. So I'm at 5-5-5. Five, five, five. The percentages are 65%, 75%, 85%. So each of those I do five reps. On that 85%, I'm going for five plus. I'm projecting everything off of 285. So should get like five to 10 reps on that top set. So we'll see, still warming up, everything feels good. About to hit my first work set at 185.
Alright, so just finished up my top set of bench. 285 is the highest I projected for this training wave, so hit six reps at that top set, which was 240. I'm happy with that, just trying to progress my bench slowly. Now moving on, I got seated, Arnold presses. So that's where you come in, open up and press up. I'm changing these, I was doing barbell seated military presses for the last phase, but my shoulder's starting to act up on me a little bit, so this is a little bit more shoulder friendly exercise. I'm gonna pair it up with some lap pull downs. I'll do four sets, 10 on each of these. Uh, the rest of the workout's kind of more, you could say, bodybuilding-esque, so just trying to work on weaknesses, do some higher rep ranges with some lighter weight, just get things feeling good.
All right, guys, just finished up the training session. Today's training session is kind of just one. I'm working on weaknesses pretty much. The, pro the program that I'm on is a three-day split. So this added fourth day, just build up weaknesses. My bench, my worst lift right now, so working on some technical things on the bench, then building up weaknesses, my shoulders and back, which you see, then a little bit of tricep, upper back work. The, I went to Vitamin Shop, like I said earlier, got the pre-workout, it's good. I'll keep you guys posted on it. The flavor, green apple for the animal uh, pre-workout I have. Good flavor, tastes good. Um, you know, it's good. I would recommend it. It's C4, like that's a pre-workout that I don't like. Probably the only one, but animal, pretty good. Try it out if you'd like. This Jocko Protein, never heard of this company, but it caught my eye. Like to give you guys some different reviews on supplements. This is by Origin Labs. I have heard of Origin Labs. Um, so I'm gonna mix this up. I've got water in here. I always mix my protein with water. And we'll put the supplement list on the video for you guys so you can see that. And I'll tell you how this stuff tastes in a second. All right, so one thing, oftentimes the scoop is so deep in the tub that you can't find it. Instead of digging your hand in there, getting a spoon or whatever, all you have to do is just shake this thing and turn it, right? And the scoop will show up. Then you don't have to worry about that mess of digging your hand in there. So just found the scoop. The flavor I have is chocolate peanut butter. Let's get a whole scoop here for you guys. Again, just mixing it with water. I always mix my protein with water. Shake it up. I got ice in here. I don't have the blender piece, so let's see how it mixes up. Just water and ice. Alright, see how it tastes. Tastes okay. Just water, it's like tastes like watered down watery peanut butter chocolate. It's alright. Best protein in my opinion though to this day is Synthesis. Six. This stuff is okay. Maybe I put too much water. Next time I'll do a little bit less, but here it is, Jocko Mulk chocolate peanut butter protein. Ingredients right there, supplement facts. I'll read it out for you guys too. I mean, what you're looking for is protein. So we have 20 grams of protein per one scoop. That's kind of low. I'm only gonna do one scoop though. I don't really need 40 grams in one. So I might do a scoop and a half next time. Um, two grams of carbs, two grams of fat. So that's pretty typical for a protein powder on the market right now. So taste, we'll say a six out of 10 for you guys. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Make sure you like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Still trying to figure out where we're going with the channel, but doing lifting vlogs. We're doing lifting vlogs. We're doing supplement reviews. We're doing equipment reviews. So we'll see what gets the most views and likes, and we'll kind of follow that. But any questions you guys have, put a comment below. Uh, subscribe to my Instagram. It's at Coach P. Reeves. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching.